Have you ever found yourself captivated by a classic film that effortlessly transcends time? Gone with the Wind, a cinematic masterpiece released in 1939, stands as an enduring testament to the power of storytelling on the silver screen. Whether it was your inaugural viewing or a cherished memory from the past, this iconic film has left an indelible mark on generations of movie agulars. As we delve into the intriguing facets of Gone with the Wind, it's worth pondering. When was the first time you experienced this cinematic gem? Perhaps it unfolded on a lazy Sunday afternoon or during a family gathering. The memories associated with this film often weave into the fabric of our personal narratives, prompting us to reflect on its impact on our lives. Now, let's explore some intriguing details about this timeless classic. Set against the backdrop of the American Civil War, the film unfolds the epic tale of Scarlett O'Hara's resilience and tenacity. Adapted from Margaret Mitchell's novel, the narrative explores themes of love, loss, and survival. Clark Gable's portrayal of Red Butler and Vivian Lee's iconic performance as Scarlett have etched themselves into the annals of cinematic history. Have you ever found yourself reminiscing about a particular scene or character that left a lasting impression on you? Share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic masterpiece in the comments below. We would love to hear your stories and reflections. Now let's embark on a journey through the captivating world of Gone with the Wind, where timeless storytelling meets the silver screen. Intrigue awaits as we uncover random facts and fascinating tidbits about this cinematic gem. Dive into the past and relive the magic that continues to resonate with audiences around the globe. In the 1939 film, an interesting aspect lies in the Intracti music, a pioneering move in Hollywood. The music is exclusively played on a Nova chord, marking the first use of an electronic synthesizer in a feature film. This innovative choice adds a unique touch to the movie's soundtrack, showcasing a technological leap for its time. Apart from technological advancements, the film's plot harbors an unresolved subplot from the original novel. Brothel Madame Belle Watling's hidden son, studying away from Atlanta, raises intriguing questions. Some speculate a connection between Rhett Butler and Belle's son, proposing that he might be Rhett's legal ward, tying the two characters together in a more profound way. This subtle subplot adds layers of complexity to the narrative, leaving audiences to ponder the unexplored dimensions of these unseen characters. Interestingly, Judy Garland, a notable figure, was initially considered for the role of Scarlett's sister, Karine. However, due to commitments to another film directed by Victor Fleming, she couldn't take the part. Anne Rutherford, co-star from Fleming's previous work, stepped in. This casting shuffle sheds light on the dynamic behind-the-scenes decisions and connections in Hollywood during that era. In summary, beyond the sweeping Southern saga, the 1939 film introduces groundbreaking musical choices, an enigmatic subplot, and intriguing casting decisions, providing a deeper understanding of the movie's production and creative process. In portraying Scarlett O'Hara's allure on screen, director Victor Fleming aimed for a specific vision. During the iconic low-cut burgundy velvet dress scene at Ashley Wilkes' party, Fleming, wanting Scarlett to embody a certain appeal, had costume designer Walter Plunkett tape Vivian Lee's breasts together for the desired cleavage effect. This meticulous detail underscores Fleming's hands-on approach to shaping the characters in the 1939 classic. Meanwhile, Olivia de Havilland's portrayal of Melanie Hamilton involves sacrifices in wardrobe choices. Despite spending most of the film in drab costumes, de Havilland wore two elaborate dresses. However, due to film aspect ratio limitations, only the upper part of her striking blue taffeta dress made it on screen, as the hoop skirts had to be omitted. This practical decision reveals the challenges of filmmaking in an era without widescreen technology. Additionally, Leslie Howard's private reservations about playing Ashley Wilkes added a layer of complexity to the casting. Feeling too old for the role, Howard used makeup and a hairpiece to appear younger. Only the offer of a producer credit on another film persuaded him to take on the part. This behind-the-scenes insight sheds light on the negotiations and compromises involved in assembling the cast for this enduring Southern saga. In summary, the 1939 film's behind-the-scenes intricacies, from Fleming's meticulous direction to the wardrobe compromises and casting challenges, provide a fascinating glimpse into the making of this cinematic classic. Each detail contributes to the richness of the characters and the overall production, showcasing the complexities that went into bringing Gone with the wind to life on the big screen. The crane shot, where Scarlett navigates through suffering Confederate soldiers, 
was the brainchild of Val Luton, former assistant editor to David O. Selznick. This iconic scene, capturing the grim reality of war, showcases Luton's contribution to the film. Interestingly, he later ventured into producing classic horror movies in the 1940s. Notably, the film's opening scenes underwent reshooting near the end of production. Vivian Lee, exhausted from months of filming, needed a break. The addition of a white dress in the reshoot emphasized Scarlett's innocence at the start of the film. This decision to highlight her purity adds a layer of complexity to Scarlett's character development. The reshot opening scenes also mark a pivotal moment in the film's production, highlighting the challenges faced by the cast and crew. It's a testament to Lee's dedication that she returned to portray Scarlett at her youngest and most pampered, overcoming the demands of the intense shoot. In summary, the crane shot's origin and the reshooting of the opening scenes reveal behind the scenes decisions that shaped the film. From Luton's influence to Lee's commitment, these details provide insight into the making of this cinematic classic. Olivia de Havilland, the last surviving cast member of the enduring Southern saga, passed away on July 26, 2020, at age 104. Her remarkable longevity not only made her the final link to the 1939 film, but also a testament to the lasting impact of the cinematic classic. With over 50 speaking parts, Gone with the Wind featured a diverse cast, and de Havilland's role as Melanie Hamilton showcased her talent amidst the challenges of wardrobe limitations. The film's estimated production cost of $1.29 million marked a significant investment for its time, surpassed only by two predecessors. Interestingly, Ona Munson, who portrayed brothel Madame Belle Waddling, considered the film a curse, facing typecasting struggles post-production. These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the film's enduring legacy, the challenges faced by its cast, and the unique circumstances that have marked its place in cinematic history. As we bid adieu to the cinematic tapestry that is etched in our minds, it's undeniable that Gone with the Wind remains a timeless masterpiece, weaving a tale of passion, resilience, and sweeping emotions. As you reflect on the splendor of Scarlet's indomitable spirit and Rhett's charismatic allure, Consider the threads that connect you to this cinematic opus. What moments linger in the corridors of your memories? Is it the sweeping landscapes of Tara, or perhaps the sharp-witted exchanges between Scarlet and Rhett that dance in the recesses of your mind? Gone with the Wind is not merely a film. It's an intimate journey, a symphony of emotions that resonates across generations. In the quiet corners of your thoughts, explore the impact of this epic on your own narrative. How does its resonance echo in your personal tale? Share your musings, your favorite scenes, the lines that etch themselves into your soul. Let's create a mosaic of reflections, a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Your thoughts, a patchwork quilt of sentiments, add depth to the tapestry of shared human experiences. In this shared space where stories intertwine, your voice becomes a vital brush stroke, shaping the collective appreciation for this cinematic gem. As we traverse the corridors of nostalgia and evoke the essence of Scarlet's Scarlet and Rhett's Rhett, we invite you to enrich this dialogue. Your words, a beacon of connection, forge the enduring bond between audience and art. Thank you for your time and for delving into the realms of shared recollection. Your presence in this conversation is a testament to the enduring magic of cinema. Until we meet again in the realms of shared storytelling, may your reflections be as vivid as the sunsets over Tara, crafted with the spirit of storytelling and connection.